Hi Sagittarius, this is Cherie from Divine Visions and we're doing your love reading for February. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at your energy and your person of interest, whether it be a twin flame, soulmate or karmic partner, to see what's going on and see if your timelines are matching up. So I'm first up using my Divine Oracle deck, which I created, um, to have a look at your underlying energy first up. This will be what's going on within your hidden subconscious realm. It's like the shadow energy. You may not necessarily be aware of this um, underlying energy right now, but we'll have a look where you're currently at right now regarding that. What is your underlying energy for Sagittarius, please? Okay, so we've got another star, star sign energy here. We've got Aries, which is another fire sign. And it's uh, a bold, impulsive, pioneering energy coming forward here. So this is the kind of energy you're coming into. This could also be, um, you know, a special message if the other person is an Aries or if you have a very strong Aries um, energy in your chart, in your birth chart. Um, but this is definitely an underlying energy of what kind of... Um, um, path you're going down towards right now, what's actually starting to emerge from within. So let's have a look at your person, twin flame, soulmate or karmic partner. What's their underlying energy currently right now for February? I'm not doing ones that throw themselves out, just so you know. Otherwise, there's just so many that do. They've also got another star sign energy and they're coming into like a, a Pisces energy, which is a very gentle, intuitive, artistic, compassionate type of energy. So we've got two very different energies going on here. We've got the real bold Aries moving forward and we've got the Pisces, which is kind of just going with the flow. Um, very kind of, uh, we've got the water and the fire here, which is amazing. Okay, so let's have a look at your main theme, your main energy for this month, Sagittarius. Well... What is your main energy or theme for this month, please? What's going on for you? Main theme, main energy for February for Sagittarius. Wow, look at this. Forgiveness. This is beautiful. This is Archangel Zadkiel. Forgiveness. Look at the heart chakra there. And it's a green, it's got the blue, blues and the greens and the, and the pink for the heart chakra. That's amazing. So it's more green and, and pink for the heart chakra, but there's blues in there as well, um, which could also represent the throat chakra. Let's have a look at where their energy lies, the main theme for them this month. So yours is forgiveness. What is theirs? creativity wow it's a real intuitive kind of creativity um, passion coming through artistic as we saw before for the Pisces so there's a lot of creative energy coming through for them and you're in this forgiving energy or you're going to be moving into that now let's have a look at where your current energy lies at right now with the tarot uh, the sacred circle tarot we're going to have a look at your current energy right now for February, what's going on with your current energy? What's actually going on regarding that right now for you? Sagittarius, what's their current energy, please, for February 2019? 2019, Sagittarius. Also, um, we'll be looking at your person's current energy as well, finding out what's going on with that as well. So... Sagittarius, current energy. Okay. Sagittarius, current energy. Right, this is the Four of Wands um, reversed. So it's development in this particular tarot deck, but it can be a twin flame card um, in other readings, if you if you believe you're in twin flame connection, it could definitely be relevant to that. Um, it's about development. It's also about foundation. Somehow it's reversed. It can represent happy relationships, that foundation of um, a strong commitment of marriage, uh, celebration, 
happy relationships, that kind of thing. And it's security. Falls are always about security and stability. But being reversed, it may feel you may feel at the moment that something is kind of like turned upside down for you, that you're not feeling stable in your life. You're not having that strong foundation right now with this person. Uh, could definitely be part of that right there. Let's have a look at where their current energy is at right now. Where is their current energy right at right now, please? Where is their current energy right now? We've got four of swords reversed. This is usually meditate, meditation, contemplation, a time for mental respite. Um, let's have a look at further cards to get more of an idea what that is about with them. So you've both got fours that are reversed. It's interesting. All right, first up, I want to see how you're both viewing each other through the romance angels. So how are you seeing this person right now? How are you perceiving them right now? Sagittarius, how are you looking at them right now? How are you perceiving them right now? Well, hang on, they're all flying out. <laughs> Trust. So you're seeing that they are in a pretty chilled out, chillaxed kind of um, energy right now. I mean, they are. They're going with the flows. It's underlying energy within them. It's, it, it's a relaxed energy. They're creative. They're coming into creative energy. Um, so you might be seeing that they're trusting in the process of life or in this connection with you. Um, but this is a main energy of how you're seeing them right now. You're seeing that they have faith. It's interesting with this energy that might show that they're actually starting to emerge from a place of perhaps going into the depths of their own uh, intuition, emotions. Maybe they were in a place of contemplation and meditation and kind of withdrawing a bit and going within. And now they're emerging and having this trust. Let's have a look at how they're viewing you. How are they viewing you? Religious factors. Let's have a look here. So it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This could be um, a literal message for some of you who have very different um, religious backgrounds and it may be that some of your values are not lining up right now. Um, it may also be that this person sees that you're changing, like your values are changing, perhaps your backgrounds are very different. And you've been finding that this person has kind of shaken the foundations for you and made you start to question what you used to believe in, you know, whether it be values or even a religion, whatever beliefs that you've had before, this person has shaken this up for you and you're really starting to analyze now what is real for you and what isn't. So they're starting to see that as well. Maybe they also see that you are very strong in a faith, that you are a very spiritual person as well. Um, and that you have a very strong kind of intuitive, psychic kind of side to you as well. All right. Um, what else do we want to see? So what you want from one another, what do you want from each other right now? So let's have a look at the Divine Tarot. What do you, Sagittarius, want from your Twin Flame soulmate or karmic partner right now? What do you want from them? What do you want with them? ace of fire you might be feeling that they have um withdrawn like maybe there's been a bit of a spark that's not um been ignited for a while maybe you want them to have that spark with you again um it's interesting because their creativity is coming through so they might be putting their focus on other things rather than um, perhaps a sexual connection with you or chemistry. Maybe there's something um, that's happened between the two of you where you're starting to feel like, um, you know, they're not coming forward with this chemistry or passion towards you right now. Let's see what they want from you. 
What do they want with you? With Sagittarius. Yeah, they don't want you to give up on them. This is usually the recovery um, survival card. It's talking about a long journey. You're almost at the end, but you need to rest and recuperate before continuing. And so they're seeing that you have probably pulled back and there's a part of you that just feels like giving up on this completely, okay? There's something that's happened um, in, this, in this connection where you have just felt like um, walking away and... That's how they, they, they feel like they don't want you to walk away. They want you to um, hold on and hang in there. That's the message that I normally get with the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands is the hang in there card. You know, it's almost, you're almost at the end. Um, so they're wondering if you've still got the fight in you, you know, to keep this going, to, to make this work with them. That's interesting because you're wanting them to come forward with this passion and this spark towards you. Um, they're even like a sexual chemistry, a passion there. They may be focusing on other things right now in their life and putting a lot of their energy and time and focus into something else rather than this connection. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting that. Now, let's have a look at the challenges you both face. So this is the Mother Mary, Queen of Angels cards from Doreen Virtue. All right, let's have a look here. So the challenge that Sagittarius faces right now. Devotion. Now, I just want to say, sometimes Sagittarians, not not speaking for every single Sagittarius, but their energy is very, being a fiery sign, they're very quick, they're very in and out, you know, and sometimes they can be very committed to something, but not so much appear that way to some other person, you know, so that's just another message coming through here about devotion, like what are you committing and devoting yourself to, and it's interesting, it says, I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I'm clear about what to do next. Because some of you are not really too sure where your devotion lies regarding your spirituality, regarding your values. Some things have been shaken, like the, the core foundation has been shaken now. This person has kind of brought this new energy in and you're like, holy crap, like, what do I do with this? You know, it's changed all of my beliefs and values to do with perhaps commitment, relationships, all sorts of things. And then we've got the Ace of Fire here. Some of you are even wondering, does this person even still, in, you know, want me? Are they even still interested in me? So you're not sure if you want to devote your time and energy into this com um, connection completely right now anyway. What is their challenge regarding you right now? What is their challenge regarding you right now? Well, well that really came out. I'm going to keep that one. Giving and receiving. I balance being generous and receptive because both are equally important. So it feels to me like they're not really giving or receiving anything at the moment from you. It feels quite neutral for some reason. I'm just getting a real neutral kind of energy with them. I'm not saying that they're completely closed off to you or anything or, you know, but it sort of feels like they're not really stepping forward um, massively towards you either. Um, so there's a challenge with the balance between giving and receiving here. Maybe you have felt also that you were giving a lot to this person and you weren't really receiving back much from them and you don't really know what to think of that now. Um, all right, so let's have a look at spirit guidance for you both. This is the goddess guidance. So what is your special spirit guidance message, Sagittarius? Start delegating. So ask others, including Green Tara, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Some of you are feeling very overburdened, feeling very alone in this path, in this journey here, and you're being asked to call out to your higher 
realms, higher beings, because the Aries energy is coming through. You're starting to really feel a push to just move really impulsively and fast in your life. And being in this kind of rushed energy without really um, having some kind of focus or plan into where you're going, you know, also this very independent energy, um, you know, you can't always do everything on your own. So even though you do feel alone, some of you just think, oh, well, I've just got to do it on my own because there's no one else to help me. But there are actual supporters out there, even in the spirit world. Okay, there are people that can help you. There are friends that might be able to help you on this path. There are counselors you might go and see. You know, there's Facebook groups that you could join. There's people, there's, there's lots that you can do to um, get this assistance, okay? You're not alone, just so you know that. Now, we've also got the green for the forgiveness card for the heart chakra here as well. So I really do feel a lot of you need direction. You need, you need to be able to unblock something that's in the heart chakra. All right, let's have a look at the spirit message for your person. Purification. There's something they need to purify in their life. It says, it is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Now, I do feel like this person could be drinking. There could be some alcohol. There could definitely be some kind of an addiction that they have um, got themselves into that is kind of, you know, closing them off a little bit to you. Um, maybe a reason why they haven't felt the need to, to reach out to you as well, because there might be something else that is occupying their time and energy right now, which may not necessarily be healthy. Um, so the angels are saying purify your energy and it looks like they might just do so because the flame, the fire that's in this card here represents transmutation of energy. It's purifying. Fire is purifying. Interesting. Okay. So let's look at the special message you want to say to one another. So Sagittarius, what do you want to say to your, um, beloved one? What do you want to say to your twin flame, soulmate, or karmic partner? Okay, Sagittarius, what do you want to say? Our love is protected. So some of you are actually putting the love and protection, like the protection around your love, whether it be through praying or doing spiritual rituals or visualizations or affirmations. I'm seeing that you're protecting this connection and your loved one as well. So that's beautiful. So you're letting them know this love is protected and I'm protecting it as well. What would they like to say to you, Sagittarius? Be kind to yourself. Okay, so they might actually see that you're in an energy where you're not necessarily, um, you know, you might be struggling. We did see the nine of fire, which can represent struggles as well. And it feels to me that you're not feeling really um, stable on your path just yet. You're not, some of you may not have a real um, clear direction in where you're going in your life right now either. So they just want you to be kind to yourself. They can see that you are struggling on your own. They might not necessarily have the tools to come forward and help you with that right now because they've obviously got something also in their life that they've put focus on. Um, so another reason why you're feeling alone and some of you might be feeling a little resentful to this person because uh, feeling like you're not being supported by this person, okay? And that's where that forgiveness may come in. Now, what action are you taking towards each other for February? What action is Sagittarius taking towards this person for February, please? Well, this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is going with the flow, which is pretty good. There's, a, there's going to be a change in direction for you guys. Let's get a clarifier on that. Well, your hands are being untied. You know this feeling of being um, struggling and, and that your hands are tied? 
you're not going to have that. You're coming out of that energy of feeling stuck, okay, and imprisoned in something and, and feeling like you have to juggle all these things on your own. You're actually, perhaps I feel like you are going to come out of this through asking others for help. And there is going to be this turn of fate, right, turn of direction with destiny um, and fate. It's going to be moving out of this um, feeling of being having your hands tied, all right, let's see what else there is because that's fair enough, but what action are you taking towards them? Okay, so you're not necessarily moving towards them just yet. This is the moon energy. This is Pisces energy also, which is interesting. We've got two Pisces kind of energies coming up here. Pisces is very much the moon, I should say. The moon is... Um, the hidden realm. So you're definitely going to be confronting your inner shadows right here, okay? There's, there's definitely this something is going to shift for you guys where you do have the strength and the energy to face something once and for all and you're going to have help in doing so, I feel. Now let's have a look at what your person is, uh, what is their action they're going to be taking towards you for February? Okay, so this feeling alone, reversed, five of pentacles, sometimes this is a, uh, someone feeling rejected or feeling, well, feeling alone. And this is reversed, so I feel like they're coming out of that energy and this is in the physical realm as well. So let's have a look at what else there is for a clarifier for that. Some of them might be feeling alone too on their path. Or have been, well fall down don't they they love falling down five of pentacles clarifier oh wow okay this is interesting so the five of water is somebody who's feeling quite sad they're in like a regretful um, kind of energy here so they might be feeling like they're coming out of this feeling of being alone um, but because this has come up as well, I'm feeling that because this card before came up, just to let you know, the four of swords reversed, which, which usually means mental rest, mental respite, recovery. I really feel that they have thought that coming out of this, you know, coming out or emerging from that place of withdrawing. They're still not able to give and receive. They're still not giving something of themselves. They might not necessarily feel rejected and left out in the cold anymore, but they're still feeling sad. Okay, so they may not necessarily... It's such a weird thing. I feel like there's a Band-Aid situation going on with them. And I do feel like there is drinking or something going on here with for them where they are medicating themselves. That's what I'm getting. So it's both of you are not moving forward to one another at this stage for, for February. I do see that there's a lot of inner work going on. You're positively moving into this. I feel there's a real positive um, confronting inner shadows and going into the forgiving energy. And they're also coming into a creative energy. So this is really interesting as well, considering that is their main theme. So they're going to be given, I feel, signs along the way to help them to, be, to come out of this heavy energy. I just want to get one more for them, okay? One more. Wow, okay, this is really looking good. In their physical realm, because we've got the five of pentacles reversed, okay, it is the pentacles, this is the pentacles as well. This is the queen of earth, the queen of pentacles, somebody who's coming into their own um, abundance, someone who's actually strong on their path, is lucky, prosperous. And I do feel this person is definitely going to manifest things in their physical realm that's going to help them, I feel. But there's still some sadness around this connection as well, I'm feeling here. So even though underlying there is this kind of calm, um, compassionate energy, because I do feel like they're not blaming or lashing out. It's more of an internalizing going on here and just not able or not having the knowledge to know how to reach out to you at this stage. They don't really have the knowledge or the um, resources right now to know how to reach out to you right now. Um, but they do have to purify their energy. They have to release and purify and cleanse 
their own emotions and their heart chakra as well. And I do feel like they're going to become quite grounded and rounded, you know, all round. It's going to be really good for them in the end. They're going to cement and ground themselves rather than have all this. Because they've got a lot of water in their, in their signs here as well. There's a lot of water. Well, it feels like there is, might not necessarily be in this actual spread, but I just feel like there's a lot of emotions going on for them, um, heavy stuff. So, But they're going to come out of it and, and just be very strong in their path, which is looking really good here. Yeah, this is someone who knows how to manifest what they need and want in life. So physically in their life, they might be successful and quite grounded, but emotionally they've still got some things to, to work on there. And that's what's going on for February. So I really hope that's helped give you some insight today and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Mm -hmm.